We welcome you to today's Help for Today. We're looking at the feeding of the 5,000, perhaps one of the most famous Bible stories and the only miracle in the Bible that's recorded in all four Gospels. And I believe so because it is of such importance. As I study it, the thing I'd like for us to look at this week, we'll be looking at it, is a pattern for ministry. The Bible tells us that when Jesus and the disciples sought to get away, when they tried to uh, take a break, they were confronted with a multitude of people that had gathered to hear Jesus speak, to see what he might do. The Bible tells us that when Jesus saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion. You know, as we think about the ministry, what's the purpose of the ministry? It's people. It's not about power. It's not about prestige. It's not about gaining possessions or popularity. The ministry is all about people. And Jesus illustrated this for us. And the fact that not only did he see the multitude, but he had compassion on them, meaning he, he was moved to action. Because he saw them, the Bible says, as sheep, not having a shepherd, he gave of himself, he gave of his time, he gave of the resources he had to teach them. Because sheep who don't have a shepherd are lost sheep. I believe that relates to the spiritual condition of the people, that they were lost. And the ministry is people. Can I encourage you and challenge you today that as you go throughout your life, as you go to your job, your place of business, even your ministry, that you would look around and see the people. Not just see their faces, see what they're doing, but notice their condition. Most people that we'll come into contact with on any given day are those who are going to be lost. Like Jesus, may we have a desire, may we be moved with compassion for the souls of mankind. 